In today's video, you're gonna learn how to import and use motion capture data inside of Cinema 4D. Stay tuned. All right, welcome back. It's Nick here from Grayscale Gorilla helping you make better renders in less time. And before we get started today, I wanted to remind you to please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have a ton more videos just like this coming out really soon. And also, if you haven't checked it out, check out our Intro to Cinema 4D series. It's a tutorial series on our website. You can get a link right here or in the description below. All right, today's tutorial is all about finding good motion capture data and how to import it into Cinema 4D. We've been getting a ton of emails and questions about motion capture data, mostly because of this incredible animation that came out from Method Studios. If you haven't seen this animation, pause me, watch this animation. They did such a great job. I think it's one of the best motion pieces it made this year, maybe in the last 10 years. It's beautifully shot, and it's all done with motion capture data that's brought into 3D and then added effects on top of it. They really did an incredible, incredible job. I want you to go check out this video if you haven't seen it. Now, we're gonna get into how to approach a project like that. What they used is motion capture data shot at at least 60 frames a second. They got slow-mo stuff in there. They got beautiful stuff. So what I'm gonna show you in this tutorial today is where to find good motion capture data and then how to import it into Cinema 4D so that we can start to make some really fun effects. And then what I'm gonna do is chop up just that little part of the tutorial. Today is only about that. Then, after you get that done, we're gonna have multiple videos about how to get different effects inside of Cinema 4D. So this will be a really fun one. Make sure you watch this and then follow along with some of our other tutorials about motion capture to see how we get all these different effects. All right, the first thing we need to do is get some motion capture data that we can then import into Cinema 4D. Now, Method Design, they actually hired some uh, uh, people to dance and get some real motion capture data uh, with some really great equipment here. It looks like they did a really great job. You could tell they did a really great job by the quality of that motion capture. So you can go get actual motion capture data yourself. I've also seen it done with uh, things like Xbox Connect, stuff like that. You can make your own motion capture data. But for today, we're gonna use existing motion capture uh, just so we can kind of figure out the workflow and get started. And then down the road, if you wanna make your own, you can go look into services like this or uh, other ways to do it. So there's a few resources I found that has some pretty good motion capture data we could get started with. And I'm gonna link these up in the comments and in the um, uh, description below if you uh, ever want to come back to them check those out but the first one is turbo squid and they had some pretty good stuff here you could go type in fbx uh, motion capture there we go and you just go make an account uh, again we'll have all the links there you can look for some motion capture data they have some uh, some swords and some sports and some dancing they got a bunch of stuff in here and you could search through this some of it is paid and some of it's free and uh, you could just kind of look around and download that there. All right, the next one is Mixamo. If you haven't seen this, this uh, I was really glad to find this because it actually is free if you have an Adobe Creative Cloud subscription. So if you're paying for Photoshop or After Effects and you have that ongoing subscription, this actually comes with it. You actually sign in with your Adobe um, uh, account. So. This is really, really fun, and we're actually gonna use this for our tutorial today, so we'll get back to that one in just a second. But I did wanna show you one other one I found, um, and it is this. It's, I found it on the Unity uh, forum here, and it is a ton of motion capture data from Carnegie Mellon that they converted and is all available for download. I mean, it's thousands and thousands of available motion capture. Now, don't forget, motion capture is also used for video games and a bunch of other stuff, so you'll see a lot of you know just running and jumping and falling and sword fighting and stuff like that. And uh, you just kind of have to look through and find the stuff that uh, that you need. Okay, so however you get it, um, we're gonna get to how to import it in just a moment, but I wanted to quickly show you this Mixamo because um, it's really, really robust. It's got some really fun stuff in here. So let's head on in. This will be really fast. We'll just make a character, animate, and then export it just so we could all follow along. And don't worry if you don't have an Adobe Creative Cloud subscription. Use one of these, and uh, when we get into the tutorial, you could um, uh, use this data, and it'll work almost the same way. Okay, so really quickly, let's go through this Mixamo here. We can go Browse Animations. 
Now this is this does a lot more than what we're going to use today, but first thing you need to do is just go into characters and pick out your character. They have a really a lot of pretty fun characters, a lot of video gaming kind of stuff, but some pretty fun ones here. Um, I like this one right here, this Y bot. That's the one I'm going to use today. It's just kind of a generic character, but it's got enough style where it's pretty fun. You can see it loads up all 3D. You can move it around. The next thing you need to do is pick an animation. Now they have a bunch of pre-made animations here. All this motion capture data is all just available for you to just click on. Got the thriller dance. Can't beat that one. Boom, 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 boom. Looking good. Um, uh, what I ended up with is if you search up here, you could all you could search for dances only. And then I actually use something called Northern something. I forgot Northern soul floor combo. That's the one I ended up using. Um, this one's fun. I just thought it was nice because, you know, they hit the floor, they do some some uh, break dancey kind of moves, and then they uh, they jump back up. So this is the one I used for a lot of the videos. Uh, you could use any one of these, any one of the characters, uh, but then when you're ready, just click view download. That's going to kind of prep it for download. You're going to queue the download. And uh, I just leave all this stuff default. The frames per second may be different for you depending on what you want. I'm gonna use 30 frames a second, FBX. I'm not gonna mess with anything here. Just cue the download. And you can see now it's uh, processing and it doesn't take very long. In fact, that's it. And now it's available for download. Click and download and there it is. Okay, so now we're at the point where it's time to import this data. Now, I've only done this with FBX. I found the best um, data is this FBX data. If you find any of it anywhere else, you could try it. Um, but this is how it goes. Once you have your FBX data downloaded, wherever you get it from, uh, this is how easy it is to import. So I'm just going to drag in that Northern Soul floor combo into just straight into the viewport of Cinema 4D. And when I do, it's gonna ask me this import settings dialog, and I left all this default, all right? It, and I leave it default because it just works, watch. You click okay, and it imports, and you're good to go. So what's really nice is if you use that Mixamo way, you not only get all the bones and all the joints and all that animation, but you actually get the skin and all the other you know, textured um, parts of that animation. Like you get the the character as well, and and this will change depending on what character you picked back in um, in Mixamo. Now, if you downloaded from uh, Turbo Squid or or uh, anywhere else, and you just have the raw data without a model, your import might look like this, and that's okay. Um, this is usable as well for a lot of the upcoming tutorials. The only thing you want to keep in mind with this is this has no geometry, okay? If you click render, there's nothing here. These these bones here, these joints are just kind of invisible. But there's a really kind of quick way that you can make this um, uh, physical. And uh, I'll actually link that up in this video so you can just go watch it. I'll make a separate video just to show you. But that'll help you prep for a lot of upcoming uh, tutorials where we start to make this into little different effects and all that stuff. So that is um, as easy as it gets to start to get some motion capture data into Cinema 4D. Okay, one more quick tip before we get into the rest of the tutorials where we're gonna turn all these characters into crazy effects, I wanted to show you something I run into uh, specifically with Mixamo if you're downloading from them. If you go to change anything, anything really, let's say we wanna change this texture, you're gonna open it and all of a sudden everything's gonna be grayed out. And I actually haven't seen this before and it took me a while to figure out what was going on. But if you get here and everything's grayed out, um, what it is is the take system. So take system is relatively new in Cinema 4D and, and I'm not gonna get into what the take system is, but let me just show you how to fix this. If you go to window and you go to the take manager, it's gonna open up take manager and you're gonna see the takes, there's a Mixamo.com take. Now, if we go back and we just select this main take, um, that fixes everything. I could now change textures, but we lose our animation. So the real way to fix this is to uh, select this here, go up to override and see this button right here. It says lock overrides. All you're going to do is unclick lock overrides, right? Not highlighted anymore. Now nothing is overridden. Everything is here, not grayed out. And we can go add luminance and do all that, whatever we want uh, to this material. Let's go ahead and do it. Bing, 
Does it work? It works. Okay, so just really quickly, if you're running into that gray screen stuff, that's the way to fix it. And uh, that's it. All right, thank you so much for watching today. Don't forget that this is just one video in a series of videos all about motion capture and adding some really fun effects to motion capture data. So please check out our playlist. It has all the motion capture videos in it. I'm also gonna link it up in the description down below. All right, we'll see you in another video really soon. Don't forget to subscribe and check out our Intro to Cinema 4D series. And until then, we will see you in another video really soon. Bye everybody. You can download. Buh, it's not a download. It's not a download. I got a good voice today. Mm. Have I had too much coffee? Maybe? No. Is it too fast? Uh.